in memory right here so that I can just click on one and, and start. So if I, let me see if I have a kind of a, a good blue one. No, no, I forgot this is a sunset. So, um, like an, an orangey, where's my orangey one? Or, a, or you can choose from right here. I'm, I'm choosing a kind of yellow one. Oh, I'm going over here. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why I can't do that because I, I keep forgetting I have to do it on the on the iPad instead of on, right here on the laptop. So I just chose that orange. I'm, I'm going over here. I'm going to change it, how big the point size is. I want it kind of big. And the opacity, uh, I might, yeah, I might lower that one down. The opacity. And then, um, Yes, just with your finger. So I'm going to, just with the finger, I'm painting it. it every, you know, it's touch screen. And with my fingers, I just pinched it smaller away from, away from those, away from these tools right here. Now, I want to refer back to I want to refer back to the, the photograph and I'm probably going to do this often. So I go back up here to the layers and and I'm going to press I'm going to press the dot. I want to I'm going to press the dot right there. That's going to Oh. I have to move this layer because every time this must be all okay, so I'm pressing down. I press down right here right on this layer until it moves like that and I'm moving it up and now it's the top layer and it's always and I want it always to stay the top layer because that way I can keep checking the photo so right now I'm checking the photo for the colors and you can actually choose colors like if I put my finger here I just selected that exact color of what it is. So um right there I just exit so if I want to change that color of the sky, okay right now I just selected that color. Right there. Okay, I think I'm gonna um select this color up here. Then I I then I get rid of the photo. Wait, wait a minute. I get rid of the photo and and close up the layers box. And yeah, that's more of a tan. I'm just going to go slightly slightly over that. And of course, this is just the beginning of my painting where I'm putting in the lights, the the mediums and the darks. I want some of that yellow showing through because to me that's too that's just too tan. That's why you have to interpret a photo rather than it's really hard to just copy the photo exactly the way it is because things in photography are just different than things in painting and it it must be interpreted and unless you're a photo hyper hyper photorealist painter which I am not. So um yeah, now I'm going to uh, I, I think I'm gonna. I was gonna paint the water right now, which of course is reflecting. But if I want, I could check. I can check the color, and I can press can press down and and select that. And I'm still staying on the same layer right there that you see highlighted and still with the airbrushing tool yeah and and now I can zoom up so now with just my fingers you can turn it to work 
this is the good thing about Procreate. This is one of the things that I think other apps cannot do. And right now I need I want to zoom it up. And I just did that by using finger I'm I'm lowering the point size. So now I'm making the point size bigger. Just a base color to get it in there. So this is a, this is what makes this an easy sunset painting is that it's a silhouette. Silhouette paintings are the best, really great for beginners to do because you get such great results. That's dramatic. You get great results, and it's pretty easy. Like the trees, I do not have to paint all the little leaves and get the exact color. Everything is just going to be pretty much dark black or dark brown. So. I'm going back up to layers to check, and yeah, the, all those trees are just basically black, but there is some highlighting, like right here where the sun is coming through, and there's going to probably, I'm going to be putting some light colors, I mean warm colors on the edges right there, but for blocking it in right now, I'm block, I'm going to be blocking it in with black. So I'm going to change my color. I go up here to the color circle, and I'm selecting with my finger, and I want that black. I want to, um, I don't know if I want to change my tool to the, um, maybe to this thinner, this more narrow one, or I might not want a fuzzy line, that's the thing. So I, I'm going here and I'm checking. Uh, that might be a good one right there. So I'm, I'm selecting that tool. And yeah, I've already um, selected black. And make sure my point size is, yeah, see now I'm going to make my point size a little bit bigger. See that what's good about this instead of the airbrush is it's giving me a hard, or a hard it's not going to give me a fuzzy edge. It even gives me texture that's like a tree right in there. And now I really have to make the point size smaller right here for this one. And now the, the trees and branches are going to be really fun to do because I have, I have a tool that really just blocks them in quickly well much like a fan brush if, if I was doing a traditional painting right now I'd be using a fan I would be using a fan brush for the leaves so I'm going to I'm switching tool um, I'm going to select a different tool Right. Um, so sometimes I have to search for it because I can't remember. It's something like that one. And okay, it's that one. It's called Fury Ink, and it's under Fury Ink comes under. Let me check the name. Under the brush is called Pocket because actually Procreate. I think there's a no, the other for mini iPads, there is um, a Procreate and they have it called Pocket. I don't know. So this one, Fury Ink, that's what I'm choosing. I'm still in the color black. Let me let me check my point size. Yeah, um, about that. Let's see how that goes.
And now that I think of it, I really should have the sky just the way I want it right now before I do that. So if you want to undo something, the undo button is right down here, bottom left corner, and I can undo as much as I want. I keep pressing it and it will undo it. And even easier if you had done it if I had done it on a separate layer, you just press you just delete it or press the but the um, white button next to it the layer to get rid of it. So that I need to do this tree instead over here, and I could put the point size way up. Yeah, with my finger, just small. Made it smaller so I can hit the edges. Yeah, don't want much white, do not want much white showing through. And um, I think I need to uh, stop this right now for, for this would be, so this is the end of part one. And um, Okay, so thank you for joining me. Please like or comment. Please subscribe and please come back for part 